The second thing what I did is uh, my personal development plan um, that was quite different from the corporate PDP. So what I did is um, I uh, start reading a lot of the books. I, I volunteered to speak in, in different um, meta groups. Uh, I even started a, um, a podcast around my journey. Um, uh, you can see the links um, in the f um, at the beginning of the slide and the end of the slide. If you listen to it, that's probably done uh, about uh, a couple of years ago. So um, but probably not as good as what my presentation skills are. Um, but that's my journey. For the first episode, I probably recorded for about 50 or 100 times. I can't remember the exact number. Um, but that's sort of my uh, minimal viable product or minimal viable, minimal learning product that I develop for myself as my personal development plan. I'll be able to record something and put it up there and ask for feedback. And through that sort of iteration, I become better in my presentation, I become more confident. Uh, the same way with the leadership, just volunteer, right? So you work in a team, uh, some of the people get uh, confused, people get, uh, people sort of ask, oh, we can't really solve this problem. Take ownership of the problem and take a leadership to try to find ways and to try to ask questions, to try to sort of own the problem. You have to be, um, you have to be a leader in the team. A leader doesn't mean you need to have a title. It just means you take initiative. You start sort of uh, moving things forward and try to find different way to try to solve that problem. So just try to take initiative. And, and I can't emphasize enough around this, the self-discipline, setting goals. That's quite, a, quite a important um, because you really need to set some goals uh, for yourself. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of training with you probably on YouTube help you to set goals, but um, just 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 do it. Just set some goals and do it. Don't set those sort of um, things that you wouldn't achieve just maybe for the first couple months. Just uh, what I'll do now is in the morning I normally will have a a daily goal, write down all the important tasks, and so I know my priority. So just setting some goal, just start somewhere. Um, with communication, I think um, sometimes as a developer, you might got this um, false impression that you are a good communicator. What I'm saying this is uh, when you talk to your project manager, when you talk to the scrum master, or maybe when you talk to the solution architect, you find that, oh, I'm pretty sweet. So I, I, I did um, make my point across and I did explain it really well. Uh, it could be the case that you're really good at communication, but a lot of the case is actually the other party adapt their level of communication to your style that make you feel comfortable. It's not you. What I'm trying to say is you might not be the one who are really good com communicating. It's the other party. The other party are good at communication, therefore that you feel very comfortable. And the third thing I want to say is find a mentor. So through that presentation, I mentioned quite a bit about uh, my mentors. I don't really have a a mentor per se. A lot of my mentors are my previous managers. I just built a really good relationship with them. I regularly having coffees. I ask um, I ask sort of um, how they actually made um, where they are, and I ask them to see if you or me what you would like to do. So just start networking, start uh, building that relationship with your pre previous manager or with the people you trust in that industry. Start asking questions. Um, it doesn't have to be a formalized mentorship. It could be just a, a coffee. Um, okay, the next thing is the networking event. This is the key thing, I believe. Uh, a lot of people relying on the social media. That's cool. But um, what I want to emphasize is social media making easier for you to ask for a face-to-face -face, um, conversation. 
use social media as a tool so that you can connect to the industry leader, so you can ask them for face-to-face -face conversation, to ask them how you get there, and what are their struggle, what they're learning, um, how you, they might be able to help you to to step up um, in your career. So I think that's quite an important thing. Um, another thing you can do is just volunteering to take more responsibility. Um, um, if you read a lot of those uh, leadership books, you will understand that you shouldn't wait until you get a title to sort of take initiative to take more responsibility or you shouldn't have the mindset that I only get paid this or so never going to work uh, extra hours or so never going to work uh, with more responsibility unless they paid me more. Um, I think you should need to shift your mindset to say I want to um, take more responsibility now so I can get promoted so I can have the opportunity to apply for a, a, a role. Um, you can also uh, sit for some certification, but I believe, um, as I mentioned, with the IT world changing so fast, um, you shouldn't focus in too much on that certification. If the company willing to pay for the training, if the company willing for pay a lot of the material, I would suggest to go, but um, use it only as a um, sort of attitude thing. You, you can, if you don't have the experience, if you don't have the skills, at least you show that um, you have a good attitude. I, I really want to get this role. I went to that certification. But certification without experience, it's just paper certified. It's pretty much useless. Um, so here is basically what I described before. You need to increase your technology breadth. Um, so have the T-shaped, um, um, sort of uh, uh, skills. Um, this will really help you to uh, to become a solution architect. Um, Mention about the communication. Uh, what I did is I read a lot of books and attend different trainings. Um, you can even try to go to some of the non-technical networking events. Talk to the HR person, the marketing person, the salesperson. Uh, because when you become a solution architect, you're going to talk to those sort of stakeholders. You really need to understand what what their language, what what keep their uh, awake at night, what their key concerns. So that's a quite a crucial as well. Um, you can even start a podcast or YouTube channel. Um, I'm sort of on that journey. I believe this is sort of, um, I can find a bit of time that um, when my kids are in sleep or I don't really have much to do, then I can, I can, I can um, record something. Um, as part of this, I can share some of the, um, the knowledge and hopefully they'll benefit the audience. But the benefit for me is, um, I'll, this is another minimal viable product or minimal uh, learning product for me. So I'll be able to record a video or record a presentation, record a podcast that continues to improve myself. Uh, once you got some podcasts and YouTube, then you build your confidence that you can volunteer to speak at user group. Um, the last thing I use a lot is buy people a coffee, right? Um, I learned so much by uh, for five dollars. So I, I just buy people a coffee and ask a lot of questions. A lot of the mentoring I done that way. People didn't realize they mentored me, but I bought them a coffee. You can even ask for the extra hot so that they can stay a bit longer. And you can just as a way to ask questions. Um, if you think about it, um, if you want to um, become. Um, if you want a role or if you want to become uh, successful, you'll find that people who already done it and you just ask them how to get there, you will cut your learning curve dramatically. And the leadership, I quite like the John, Max, John Maxwell five, lead, five level of leadership. I mentioned previously around um, sort of you don't need to wait, you have the position to take uh, a leadership role. In fact, that's the lowest level of leadership is people follow because they have to. So if you don't follow them, you might get fired. And that's the lowest level. 
And the next level is permission. So people follow because they want to. So you start making connections. You start buying coffee with people. You start understanding what their concern is. You start showing your understanding. Therefore, they want to follow you. They really, you really show them. You really understand them. Um, the third level is production. People follow because what you have done for the organization. Once you, um, once you have followers, then you 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 can uh, get some result, uh, and people will see how he been becoming this person who solve tough problems, been become this person who sort of um, getting things done. Been becoming this person who move tough project forward, then you start building a personal brand in your organization or in your industry, and that's the key thing. People follow because you have done. And then the the fourth level is the people development. Then you start developing、uh, people around you, so other people becoming a followers, and not only they follow you, they you start lifting their. Um, their skills, you you make them you make them successful as well. I think I haven't really reached that far, but I will I will put it here anyway because I'm sure、um, the audience watching these videos will have a different levels.、Um, and the fourth level is the personhood. People follow because who you are and what you represent. Those are the、uh, those are the. Leader that have done a significant contribution to their industry. Those are Steve Jobs. Those are、uh, Bill Gates. So you should always aim for those level. So、um, discipline yourself, right? So you should really, really start learning how to discipline yourself. And those are some sort of the things.、Uh, what I really learned、uh, is. Um, I have、uh, there's a lot of um, um, sort of success or motivational videos. I almost watch and listen to them on a daily basis. It gave me、uh, a, a success mindset. So I suggest you to、um, to to start changing some of the habit to find the best motivational speaker that. Um, you have a connection with the one that I love most is Jim Rohn. I'll show you one of his quotes at the end of my presentation.、Um, here is why you need to find a mentor, right? So if you begin only by trial and error, that you limit the the, the level you 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 can succeed. If you actually have a mentor that he can share a lot of the mistake he made. Uh, therefore, you can avoid them. I think there's a saying called, "People learn from mistakes, but successful people learn from other people's mistakes." So,、um, we all know we learn from doing, taking action, and、uh, and and the mistakes we made. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to learn everything from the mistakes we personally made. It can be others' mistake. That's the key thing. Find a mentor, learn what the mistake they have made, so you can avoid them.、Um, here is the law of thirty-three percent.、Um, I learned this from、uh, a Tai Lopez TED Talk. Um, he explained this. I find that really, really useful.、Uh, what he, what he means is, you should spend a third of time to, to、um, hang out with people that are above you, because when you hang out people that's more successful,、um, just sort of above your level, then you normally feel quite uncomfortable. But you you do need to hang out with them, ask questions. Therefore, you understand how you can improve yourself. You should always spend another set of time to people that are at the same level. I believe we should we spend way too much time to、uh, spend time with people of the same level. I think you should cut down some of that.、Um, another thing you should try to do is you should try to spend another set of time to people up below you. You should start sharing some of your journey, your learning. You start men. You need to start mentoring、um, other people who want to become your position, 
you learn different things. You will learn far more things、um, than you just read a book. Just、um, become a mentor, so you can mentoring others. I think that will help you a lot in your career as well.、Um, here are some of the tips、uh, for you to find a solution architect job. Um, you should start networking with other with other architect.、Uh, in New Zealand, we got the meetup, different meetup groups.、Um, you can also uh, join uh, our uh, sort of Facebook group, Solution Architectural、uh, Facebook Facebook group. That was either in the front of the presentation or the end of the presentation. I try to build a community of IT professional that. Will help others to try to step up, become a solution architect or different leadership role.、Um, another thing you can do is you you can volunteering to take more responsibility and buying a coffee is quite a、uh, an important thing for you to do.、Um, certification I mentioned before.、Um, another thing I want to emphasize is don't give up. Right, so if you know that you want to become an architect, you're going to experience challenges, experience different sort of、um, uh, obstacles.、Um, just stick with it. Join our Facebook uh, uh, Facebook group or listening to a lot of motivational video to try to get your mindset right, and therefore you will be able to get that role. You be will be able to step up to become. A solution architect to become an IT industry leader. So here are some of my、uh, recommended readings. So I I, I start reading a lot of their books.、Um, you should start some of the readings. If you not if you don't want to read the paper book,、um, you can.、Um, there's a lot of videos or there's a lot of、uh, audible books and and summaries book summaries. Uh, whatever that works for you,、um, you should start reading, start、um, start exploring what is out there,、uh, what sort of the skills you you're not good at,、uh, what sort of skills you need to improve. You need to start having a plan, set some goals to start doing it now. So here,、um, sort of it's, it's the end of my. Presentation. I call it the end and beginning. Hopefully, my presentation、um, give you some ideas,、uh, a different sort of、um, ways to think around.、Uh, maybe solution architect could be a career for you.、Um, personally, I think if you've been in the、uh, technical role for some time, I like exploring、um, solution architect to see if that works for you. Now, I just want to share. My mentor Jim Rohn's quote: "Work hard on yourself than you do on your job. If you work hard on your job, you can make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. Income seldom exceeds personal development. So this is my mentor Jim Rohn. So start work hard on yourself today. Start finding the gap. Start improving yourself." Okay, here is the um, um, the community I want to build.、Uh, you can click on that link. I'll put it on the comment.、Uh, you can join the、uh, Solution Architect Show Facebook Facebook group.、Uh, you can also listen to some of my previous podcasts that was、um, listed there before.、Um, yeah,、um, thanks for.、Um, Listening and watching today, and hopefully、um, you you learned a bit of knowledge.、Uh, if you can put some comments、um, there,、uh, if you got any questions, just join that face、uh, Facebook group. Then we can start、um, the the conversation there. Thanks for your time today.